Hello everyone and welcome to Ron TV Metro. Uh, this is going to be a uh, sit down vlog to show a little bit of the place. So I am in a restaurant called uh, Apakainan and uh, sorry about the glare from the lights but uh, I'm waiting for my takeout right now so not much to see but might as well uh, take this time to uh, update you guys because um, I just created the uh, Facebook page for this channel uh, it's still very rough but uh, you could just search it on Facebook it's called Ron TV Metro uh, same title as the channel name uh, there there I will be posting um, some channel channel updates and then pictures uh, I've, I've posted a couple of pictures there as well uh, and I'll be updating you with uh, some of the stuff that I'm uh, gonna do or possibly have done so you guys should check it out uh, also for this video as well uh, do give this video a like share and subscribe so it's very late in the afternoon as you can see let me show you a little bit of the buildings Across the street is a security bank. Uh, there's a gym. I believe that's a gym. I'm not quite sure. Um, so while we're waiting for my takeout, I was just uh, and it's about maybe about 33 degrees here in the Philippines. So might as well wait for uh, sort of like hangout uh, with you guys. Uh, I've actually I actually enjoyed another hangout uh, video that I did uh, a couple of days ago so might as well do that now. Now this place actually gets a bit lively during the night. Uh, it's only about 6 p.m. but I'm guessing around 8 o'clock maybe 7 or 8 o'clock this will be popping with customers and uh, also music. So I'm taking the opportunity while uh, there isn't too much uh, activity going on here that uh, this is done while I'm waiting for the food that I got. Now the food that I got is, uh, is Toritang Marikina. Basically it's a Toritang. It's just egg with ground pork, um, onions and potatoes. So that's what I'm getting right now. Uh, yeah, it's totally getting dark now. Uh, I was supposed to get here earlier but um, yeah, I had some errands to finish. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you much of the play, the inside of the place because I don't want to bother the other patrons of the restaurant so this is probably going to be the view you're gonna have uh, the back side of a white pickup and the, an SUV so uh, basically I'm in my neighborhood here in Marikina uh, this was a well this restaurant has been here for decades uh, I'm probably in the ballpark of four decades already uh, because you know as a kid you, you remember certain places and I remember as a kid this place was already open so it's been here for a while now and like I said I'm carbon dating myself so if I'm talking a little bit uh, talking a little bit lower tone or the, the audio isn't as clear uh, it's because I'm not trying to talk very very loud uh, there's not really much noise around me so I guess talking pretty softly would be okay and they have a lot of good food here um, particularly favorite that I enjoy here is kare kare which is basically kare kare is uh, beef with peanut sauce uh, it has oxtail um, heart of a banana banana tree 
um, some vegetables like uh, eggplant, uh, string beans. Um, so yeah, pretty good. The taste of it is a bit. Um, well, you can taste the peanut sauce. It's not like peanut butter, but that's uh, it's pretty really good. I, uh, I I do recommend you guys try karikare, even if you're in the states. Uh, I know there are very there are many Filipino restaurants around the, the Queens area, Little Manila, in Woodside. So you know karikare is one dish I really really recommend you guys trying. Uh, they also have. Uh, Sinigang, which is a well, so you have a choice of either seafood or um, pork. So you could get like a pork soup. Uh, the taste of it is very sour. Uh, us Filipinos uh, enjoy our sour, sour uh, vinegar. So those are something you can enjoy. Uh, in the background, there you can see the traffic. It's already dark. And yes, uh, aside from the, the other two, yes, uh, you could also enjoy the tor torta here is really good as well. Um, this is mainly a uh, watering hole, uh, mo more known as a watering hole rather than a restaurant. So uh, at night it gets very lively here, uh, but it's not the kind of watering hole that you appease and. Uh, 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 col college kids go to but you know it's a good place to uh, grab a beer grab a drink have some uh, well we call it pulutan but uh, pulutan is basically a snack that you have while drinking beer so I hope you guys haven't tried to film my other videos again uh, if you do like my content uh, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the new subscribers that have joined the community. Uh, it's really surprising to me how far we have gone in the last six months. And uh, yes, as you may notice by just checking on my numbers, we still have a lot of work to do. But uh, I am enjoying it, you know. Even if I'm not monetized right now, at least uh, I'm having fun at it but yes eventually I do want to get monetized and um, I've actually been thinking of a few ways for um, for some of the channel supporters who wish to contribute to the channel uh, you know because for now I, my, my finances are a little bit limited so that's why uh, the places that I've shown um, are not as fast as other vloggers out there so you know eventually someday um, there's also something that I'm uh, trying to uh, make sure that I get it right so you know we'll, we'll work on it I'm working on I'm working on the channel it's been it's been very um, fulfilling to uh, work on this channel and uh, show you guys my neighborhood, my city, uh, the things that I find interesting and um, I've also been enjoying reading all your comments as well. Um, so you know sit downs like this that I, I am doing right now is my way of giving back to all of you guys for all the great comments that you, you've given me. Uh, especially uh, some mentions are Mary Reed, uh, Wendy Marriott, of course, my bestie. Um, uh, some of the new uh, people have come to the community, uh, like Jess M. I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing your name right. Please do uh, comment on the video if I'm, pro if I'm uh, pronouncing your name right. That's Jess M. Uh, he's a New Jersey native, uh, but I believe Filipino. So uh, we kind of came across him on the New York walking show, so with Sepat's channel. So that was very uh, interesting to find. Uh, also, uh, 
Janice, Janice, uh, fellow Filipina who is uh, actually outside the Philippines and uh, she's been also a supporter of this channel as well. Um, so thank you guys for uh, for all the support you've given me this past six months, uh, and I'm eager to uh, show you more uh, of not only just my neighborhood, my city, but also the, the things that fa that I find fancy. Um, I just recently did a uh, video about another watering hole that I used to frequent back in the day. Uh, Though I'm not, though I'm not too sure how it's doing right now, uh, but from my memory of the place, it's actually pretty good. So you can hear the engine noise. Uh, so the place is getting a little bit more, uh, more packed, at least. So also, you know guys also give me some feedback on some of the things that uh, uh, you've seen uh, you know I, I like I said I do enjoy I do my best to um, uh, respond to all the comments there have been one or two comments that are um, well I'm not too sure what it was for I think it was just spam so I had to remove it um, now uh, prior uh, there are some comments that YouTube not me YouTube removes because of excessive emojis so YouTube actually um, perceives that as spam so if your comment gets removed it's probably because of that uh, I did not I have not completely put on the settings for for uh, for that kind of uh, uh, treatment in terms of my comments, so it's basically YouTube that's doing all of that. Uh, so yeah. So it's, it's, it's actually a nice neighborhood here, mostly middle class neighborhood. Um, and of course, you know, you know it's a busy city when you hear sirens going off. Uh, kind of makes you feel like you're um, in New York or somewhere, like Brooklyn. Actually, the, the, this Marikina city um, is, has that kind of Brooklyn kind of feel. Um, if you think about it. Though it's mostly residential, uh, there are uh, establishments already popping out. Not exactly mom and pops, mom and pop kind of shops, but you know there are a lot more uh, places you could find here. Um, it's not as uh, uh, as capitalized as let's say the likes of Makati or Quezon City, but. We are a growing city. Uh, we're not that big of a city, so you know. But uh, apart from the popul the popul the populace here in this city is mostly uh, middle class. You'd find more middle class families here than in many other cities around Metro Manila. And uh, transportation here isn't that bad. I mean, there are buses, there are train. There's a train that runs through uh, one of the major thoroughfares here. Um, there are tricycles, there are jeepneys. Uh, you know, there's a fair amount of cabs, so you're not really gonna have any trouble finding a cab as well. Uh, and then also you have the likes of Grab which is our Asian version of Uber.
Yeah, I think it's the... So apology for the glare of the lights. Uh, not sure whether that's because of my... Yeah, usually happens. So the reason I'm actually on this part of the restaurant is because one, I could point the camera towards the road and I don't have to bother any other patrons. Uh, plus there's a little bit of a breeze, you know, being 30 plus degrees here. So, you know, I could do... It's pretty hot today. It's pretty good hot. So, uh, what else is going on? Um, I'm not going to discuss recent events here in the Philippines. I know some of you are looking for uh, opinions about um, recent events here and, uh, you know, uh, personally, I'm while I'm while I'm a bit disappointed, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into details about it. That, that's as far as I'm gonna go with it. You know. History is kinda tricky here. Um, you know, history has been written by those who have benefited from it. So but, you know, am I jaded? No, well, a little bit, but, you know, there's still some optimism in me, a little bit, especially now, you know. Um, you know, ba back in, like, six years ago, I was telling people, uh, or maybe six or five years ago, I was telling people, well, there you go. You chose the one you want and that's what you're going to get. And I'll probably do the same thing in the next five to six years. So, you know. And my sort of mantra is, history does not repeat itself, only human stupidity does. And besides, uh, this channel isn't about politics or, uh, you know, while there are certain uh, things in life that are affected by politics, uh, I am going to try to avoid that discussion here uh, because it's very divisive, you know. Regardless of whether you're talking about local politics or international politics, you know, it's very divisive. And it's not... Uh, the kind of discussions that would uh, help this channel. They say uh, bad publicity is still bad, is still publicity. Well, I don't want my channel to be a place of bad publicity. No? I want to try. To, I want to try to uh, send out positive vibes to all of you. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, do check out my old videos. Uh, unbelievable, I already had 660 videos on this channel. And, uh, anyways folks, I'll give you... Uh, I, I hope you continue to watch my channel and... Uh, I'll see you folks uh, out there on my next adventure. Do give this video a like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you folks in the next one. Take care.